Wait. Connecting the pieces. Read the letter. Priory scholars have informed me of your triumph over the mirror net that appeared near our monastery. The German Priory owes you a debt once again, Commander. Without your help, Scarlet Briar's monstrosity seem impossible to confront. Now it is beaten and badly, so should it return, we have the means and knowledge to put a permanent end to it. More importantly, we have pieced together data, recovered from Scarlet's mechanical minions, and made a remarkable discovery. The location of a concealed lair hidden in the caves underneath the Priory itself. A priory, dangerous artifacts, investigation, and containment team is being assembled as you read this, but in light of your own contributions, I have attached coordinates to the lair entrance should you wish to make your own survey of the premises. Huh. Head to Scarlet's Hidden Lair. I know where it is. I remember. It's right here. Derman Priory in Lorna's Pass. Uh, oh, dude is waiting for... Oh, that's nice. Somebody put a commander tag on so that you can, uh, you can find where the place is. So, from German Priory Waypoint, go here. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, this is also where you do... Ah, Guild Rush. Is, the... is it Bear Loop Guild Rush? Can't remember now. I think you got changed into a bear. Call it okay. Champion Ice Worm. So back in what, 2014 or 2013? I can't remember now. You used to have to uh, find keys to open this door. So I I don't think I don't think you need to find keys anymore. Do you? Hi Hodge. Good morning. So this door is behind like a hidden hidden wall. The door mechanism requires a special type of power cord before it can be opened. It looks like someone from the Priory has rigged one nearby. Connect power core. Yes, enter instant. I think they changed it so that everybody can go in. Like the ev I don't think the event is around anymore. So once you go in... Oh, you guys see this? This. Investigative study 5. That's the first note for investigative study. Nice. Mm. Fragment? Oh, wait! So if you get all these fragments, you get Scarlet's journal. It's in the bank. It's okay. I can grab it. Scarlet. Here it is. Scarlet's journal. I'm actually not too sure how you get it now. I feel like I think you can pick up. You can pick up all these fragments now, right? I think you can just pick up back in twenty. 13 or 2014 you actually had to get keys and stuff but i think now you can just pick them up and then you can put together the journal and I you get this it's pretty cool to listen to i'm scared it's getting worse i've decided to talk to amenda i've probably just been working too hard turn it up a little bit i have So you have to pay attention to the big letters. This one is O. Every night, the same terrors. It never changes. The mender was unable to help me. And I feel like I'm losing control of myself. M. When the nightmare starts, an entity calls to me. I run. Run into a sea of darkness. But no matter how hard I try to escape, 
It keeps calling me. Thank you, Scorpy. What was it just now? O M A. I'm trying not to sleep. Too scared to even close my eyes. D. So scared. Whispers come from the forest all night long, calling me, taunting me, possessing me. Tonight, I saw it. I stared into the abyss. D. And it stared back at me. So, so much, much power. I don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. What was it? O M A D D. Control of my world. Oh, that's it. Slipping through my hands. And yet, I'm no longer scared. It communicated with me through images oh, there's of no death, more. destruction, and destiny. I must know more. I must confront it and put an end to this madness. <gasps> hey. Can you console? Enter the access code. O M A. So these were the capital letters in the journal. D. What? What is this? A little watermelon pizza. I can't see the screen. Okay. If the display activated, the console appears to have a few records available to read. Access text record... Record OMAD. Ah! Oh! Okay. So this is... Oh, this is the third one. For investigative study 5. Uh, interact again. Access text record for you. Okay, so this is... This is number 2. Mm. Leave the area to plan your next move. Okay. Leave the area. Leave? Yes. Yes? Okay. So test the first three of investigative study five. Read the letter? Oh, there's another letter. I mean, we, we beat Scarlet's marionette by the skin of her teeth. We're going to regroup in Lion's Arch. Let's meet there. Okay. Okay, let's meet at Lion's Arch. Mm. Wait, is there going to be a fight when we get there? I actually don't remember. Are we gonna get to see O Lion's Arch? No. I don't think we get to see O Lion's Arch. Gratage on the hat? <laughs> oh, meet your friends in Lion's Arch. Where? Okay, just follow this. Here. I'm just following the arrows. Hmm? Ah! Continue story, yes. It's near Sanctum Harbor. The origins of madness, a moment's peace. <gasps> Hi, Rox. Hi. Soldier, report. Where's my Tequadal tail? Back where I'm bunking, sir. I'll go get it immediately. Wait, you took down Tequadal? As reported, sir. I sent you a missive requesting an audience. Uh, been busy. I'm here now. Should I go get the tail and bring it to you, Tribune? No, I don't need a slab of decaying meat. But I... I've been hauling it around for weeks. Ooh, I bet that smell sticks to your dick. Oh, gosh. It does. Be I've nice been hearing that. about this Scarlet Silvari. Do you know anything about her? She's building an army, sir. She's the one behind the Molten Alliance. So I heard. I want you to take her down. 
permanently, whatever the cost. You do that, Rox, and you're in the warband. What? I, uh... I need to repeat myself. No, Tribune. Consider her dead. Report to me when it's done. And, um, Rox, be careful. Will do, sir. No. Mm. I like Rox. Hi there. See that metal human with the enormous? Yeah. Dangerous, so what are we gonna do about Scarlet? We gonna find her. Sounds good to Listen, me. Listen, you won't believe what Ritlock just said. Oh. If I kill Scarlet, I'm in the war band. Definitely. <laughs> oh, I see. What's the matter? I thought you'd be happy for me. I just don't understand why you need some war band you don't even know. I mean, you got me. And we've got a team of our own. Look around. They're all here with you. <sighs> it's a char thing. You wouldn't understand. A char thing? You'd rather be in your fancy war band than with people who've been beside you all this time? That's not what I said. It's a big deal to get into the stone war band. Why? Because it'll make you special? You're already special. At least to me. Uh, you'll still see me after I get in. Uh-huh. You will. Sometimes. Bye. Bram? Bram! We have to talk about it sooner or later. I have to go clean my gear. Bram! <sighs> yeah, well, I I don't I don't want to know anything about him. Oh, why are you here? Go away! You don't need to be here. Oh, gosh. Ram, there you are! Somebody care to tell me why this child was on the battlefield? Hey, I'm not a child. Not you, this is Surin girl. I found her out there trying to get to Scarlet's twisted marionette. Who does she belong to? Oh, her. Help! <laughs> help! Save me from this creepy human! It's okay, I'm a Crichton <laughs> Seraph. The kid's in no danger. So dramatic timing. Are you her guardian? Who? Me? Wolf's teeth, no. I've never seen her before in my <laughs> life. Ram, you're so mean. Right, Dad's remark? Can't we just go home now? Listen, buddy, I don't know what your game is, but you better get this kid to safety. She's got no business on a battlefield. What? I swear I've never seen her before in my life. Hey, where's he going? You're not my responsibility. It's okay, Bram. You can take me home now. I live in Rada Sum. Huh? What? Where do you live? Maybe we could go there instead. No. You found your way here. You can find your way back. Fine. Here I go. By myself. <sighs> Off into the big city. You'll probably never see me again, Bram. Good luck, kid. <laughs> what? I have to follow up with him? Blah. As soon as they add a punch rate lock button. I like rate lock though. He does need to get punched sometimes. But I do like him. Marjorie, a word, please. I'm still stirred up by the fight you. What's going on with you and your little friend? Yes, Lady okay. Yeah, she'll be fine. It's just You're not? Okay. She's not mine. Did you see that twisted marionette? I did. Good morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? From the ground and blood <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. That's Good because morning. they're disturbed by Scarlet's seeking devices. I thought your Norn was taking you home. He is. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> what does a little squirt like you know about Scarlet, anyway? As it so happens, I know a lot. I've been studying her for months. I came to meet her, but she didn't show up. To meet her? Why would you want to do that? Because she's brilliant, of course. My theory is that she knows something about the dragons, and that's why she's building an army. Your theory, huh? You don't think she's just a big old meanie? She's a big old meanie. Do you always talk like a four-year-old? <laughs> hey, I've been meaning to ask you something. You wouldn't know anyone who goes by the initial E, would you? Just E? E. E? No, why? No reason. Just eliminating possibilities. 
How's the queen? I wouldn't know. The Shining Blade have her so tightly wrapped up I can't even get near her. Well, at least she's safe. Make a plan with Marjorie? Hello, cutie. What's the plan? Oh, she called me cutie. Tee -hee. Now we find a way to corner Scarlet. How do you recommend we do that? We don't know anything about her. Then we learn everything we can. Alright, I pull out. I'll put out feelers with what friends I have left at the ministry and around. Divinity speech. Maybe someone knows something. Okay. Okay, Timmy. Timmy's so cute here though. Like, she looks so tiny. Progeny, do your teachers know you're out here? What college are you in? Absolutely. You didn't worry. I'm in a college of synergetics. I'm performing important field experiments. Ask her. I wouldn't dare to speak for her. I know you. You're the SNAP prize winner. French was impressive. I'd love to learn how you did it sometime. Most definitely. She's sparky. I drool when I think about everything she could teach me. Have you seen her Maca Maca magical cre creations? Elka magical bonanza. To kill you without a second thought. Mm. Leave the area to plan. Okay. What's this? Scholar Ella McKay. I have so much to tell you. The biggest news is that we're identified the location of one of the scarlet slabs and which you believe has been right under the German priory. Oh, we saw it. We saw her lair. She steals the knowledge of others, then twists it. Do we know what her motives are? Dragons? Desire to rule the world? I don't know, what do you guys think Scarlet's motives were? Just to rule the world? Read the letter. An alarm has been sounded at Fort Mariner where we're holding my train. I heard you and your crew were in town. I'm headed to the fort now and would appreciate backup. I have a bad feeling. Uh-oh. Fort Mariner? Here? Let's just put there. Some people just want to watch the world burn. That's true. That could very well be Scarlet. this would you like to continue a story connecting the pieces yes <gasps> the aether escape <gasps> oh time to fight oh i remember doing this With Ellen Keel about the attack. Greetings. What happened? It's a blade stage to smash and grab from the other side. Speak with Sheriff Sirium about the jailbreak. Where is she? Oh, he's over there. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Uh, how do I get up there? Can I mount? Oh, I can't mount. Okay. Just 
Figure out a way. Oh, it's over here. No! What? No. How do I get up there if I can't get up the steps? Is there other steps here? Oh, yes, there are. Calm down. Okay. Here. Hello. It all happened Greetings. so fast. Scarlet's minions were everywhere. They had our backs to the wall from the very beginning. One of them broadcast Scarlet's voice. She said, Vacation's over, Mai. I have work for you in the mists. The invaders took Mai to a portal outside. They had to fight past a squad of Lion Guard to get there. And two strangers, a golem and a Nord lad with a fearsome mace. After Mai entered the portal, the golem went after her. The Norn shouted for it to stop, but it wouldn't. It declared, leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. And actually ran faster. I asked Captain Keel about Scarlet. Have a good time, but not too good. What do you think it's doing? Ooh. In the water? Oh, what's this? The mysterious probe. Stay out of trouble. This is the first one I've seen turn green. Is that new? That's a change. Okay. Head to edge of the mist. Access via where we were. Oh, for real? We're going to edge of the mist? Okay, wait. Uh, cherry serum. Is it up here? Is that Kanak? Oh, that's Kanak. Oh, here it is. It's just above Kanak. There you go. Fancy letter. Number four. Okay. Head to the edge of the mist. Okay, let's go. Press B and enter edge of the mist. Mm. Find Bram and Timey. Wait, where are they? Got candy? Oh, there's there's one at each. Each uh loading. Surprised there to find are. you sitting still, short pants. The way you took off, I figured you'd be halfway to Mount Maelstrom by now. Scruffy, my golem broke down. And I still learned more in the short time I've been here than you have in your whole life. What happened? <laughs> Why did your silly magical machine man stop working? I was studying that strange device, but every time I got too close, it zapped me and knocked me back. Eventually, Scruffy's power cells shorted out and pieces of him fell off. That activated his emergency mode. So he followed protocol like he's supposed to. He carried me here, spit me out, you. and then powered down. And you got a lot of nerve calling Scruffy silly with those clothes and that haircut. So your golem's <laughs> dead. Why don't you just walk out of here? Same reason you don't fly out, because I can't. My ears, how thick are you? See these <laughs> legs? They don't work right. I can't walk very far unassisted. Uh, I, uh, sorry. I'm behaving. I didn't know. What did you learn about those, um, Things you were studying before your Me golem. too. As if you'd understand. Uh, all right, I've got nothing but time, so let's give it a go. They appear to be survey probes for the purpose of identifying high-energy thomic channels and matrices. So it's like magical energy is a swirling storm, and these things are mapping it. A trifle simplistic, but yes, that's exactly the case. Okay, truth time. Why did you run away from me? Why did you come here in the first place? It's not personal. I just wanted to see Scarlet Vandy work cute. up close. Her marionette was amazing. <clears throat> inspiring. When I saw her minions running through a portal, I followed them. You were supposed to stay with me. I told you to stop. Zosia tells me to do stuff all the time. Welcome. So does Vorp. I don't listen to them either. What's <laughs> your story anyway, Tiny? 
How does a little thing like you get into such big trouble? It's timey. And I'm a progeny prodigy. I've got important people fighting for the right to be my teacher. Important people, huh? Are they real people? Or just big-eared figments of your overactive imagination? They're real, but they all want to tell me what to learn. I'd rather be like Scarlet and pick my own courses. Wolf's tail, girl. Don't be too much like Scarlet, okay? One's way too many. Tell Bram about Scarlet's device. Hi. I like the sound of that. Tell me more about the probes you examined. They're well designed. They emit pulsed eldritch waves that register the relative strength of all local ambient magic. Like the way bats hunt? They let out a chirp and react to what that chirp bounces off of. Accelerate! Right again! I'm clearly a good influence on you. <laughs> what do you think those probes of Scarlet's are looking for? Best guess? What? Uh, the transcendent magic channels that span the globe. Old-fashioned synergetics texts call them ley lines. Normally, you can't see them or touch them, but they're real. Magic finds its own path, like rivers running to the sea. The probes are trying to identify the biggest and strongest of these ley lines, but I'm not sure why. Not yet. Hmm. Check on timey. Oh. <clears throat> Tell me more. What can I do? I'm here for you. So, Will, uh, what was your golem's name again? Scruffy. Will Scruffy work again if you get the stuff you need? I'd get it for you, but I can't leave you unprotected. You're sweet. And absolutely, <clears throat> I built him for maximum ease of maintenance. All he needs are some replacement parts. He may be rough around the edges, but when he's whole, Scruffy is as reliable as an entropic crystal regulator. Ah, that's me. good then. Right? Bram, will you tell me a story while we wait? After you ran <laughs> off on me? And all the abuse you heaped on me since we got here? I get plenty of that back in Cragstead. You don't spend much time around Asura, do you? We only abuse people we like, or those we're trying to improve. Fine, I'll assume you like me. <clears throat> Once upon a time, oh, there was gosh. a brave and handsome Norn named Bram. Ah, I heard this one already from you. Twice. Uh, ask Timey about Scarlet's proof. Oh, hi. Designed to identify ley lines? What does Scarlet want with the ley lines? Did you know Scarlet attended each of the three colleges? And that she worked with the inquest? Oh, and that she... If you believe the rumors. I talked with an Asura named Vorp, and he says it was all bunk. I'm inclined to agree. I know what Vorp says, but her twisted creatures weren't bunk. The hollow pirates either. Some Asura are just jealous. <laughs> That's enough about Scarlet for now. Jormax Tooth, you really need a new hero. Well, do something heroic enough and I might change my mind. Read the letter. The more I think about it, the more convinced I am that Scarlet's actions aren't as random as they seem. There's a pattern here, something she's working toward. And we need to figure it out. I called in every favor I had with the Priory and they're sending us... The evidence they collected around Scarlet's crime so far. They're shipping it all to the dead end bar so we can start piecing it together. Get here as soon as you can. We need you if you're going to finally get some answers. Dead end bar? That's in... That's in Divinity's Reach. Right? Where is dead end bar? Divinity's Reach. Eastern Commons. Come right here. Okay. Oh, Tres, thank you. I thank in you for love, yourself. I in love, I in love. Oh, I thank you. Thank you very much. Join the giveaway. I'm doing one for 25 arms. Mystic Coins. Oh, is it here? Here. Here. Yeah, join. The Dead End, A Study in Scarlet. 
Meet with Marjorie and... <laughs> Annie, thank you for the bits. <laughs> okay, let's go in here and uh here, oh. linen tablecloths there, and a sign out front that says Delacroix Investigations. Or stop. No curtains, no tablecloths, and most of all, no sign. But what? No. But okay, maybe curtains. But only if they're black. <sighs> I can see you're tired and cranky. We'll talk about it some other time. Rox, come in. Join us, please. Where's Bram? <laughs> He's dealing with that Asurin cub, his new friend. <laughs> it's nice of him to see your home. He's a good guy, that Bram. Yeah, he's all right. Long time no see. You should hear what happened. My friends at the Priory delivered everything they had on Scarlet. I also called in Vork, the Arcane Council's point person. He's collaborating with us remotely. We need your help sifting through the evidence. We have our own theories. But we could use another opinion. These recordings were found near Scarlet's lab in Lornar's Pass. You should listen to them first. Listen to the hollow recordings? Oh. You've seen me through my awakening, Menda Theramon. Thank you. But I'm awake now, so you can leave me alone. Synergetics is endlessly fascinating. It seeks to define the eternal alchemy. The other colleges work within that definition. The potential of golems interests me. Combining dynamics design with static versatility makes just about anything possible. I like Teo. More importantly, I need to advance my theories quickly. And nobody's better at quick results than the inquest. Today will be monumental. With OMAD's support, I shall finally see past this world and into the eternal alchemy. Oh, join again, Hush. Scarlet rejected the Pale Tree because she wanted independence. What if OMAD's machine cost her that? Huh. The moles get magic, flame gets gear. And I get the weaponry I need. Everybody wins. Especially me. Lion's Arch needs softening up first. This so is the season one. Season one story. Defenses from the inside. The theme is humanity can withstand any test. It's like they're begging me to prove them wrong. It's laughable. <laughs> Air superiority wins wars, so build me a comparable fleet, or I'll kill you all and replace you with hollows. <laughs> Once more, my esteemed snaky friend, you're doing this for obelisk shards. You want direct access to your profits, right? Then do as I say. Scarlet deceived each of her allies into thinking they'd gain something from working for her. Hmm. She'd make a great minister. Hmm. Oh. Ever since I came out of Omad's machine, you've been taking credit for my ideas. They're mine, not yours. Let me be clear. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Nobody tells me what to do. Not ever! It's not true. None of it. I don't have to listen to you. Get out of my head! Mm. I wonder if the voices in her head are real. What if what she saw in Omad's machine grabbed hold of her? I mean, Ironic you're... that she rejected the Pale Tree to exert her independence. Only to lose it to something else. These other items are all pieces of the puzzle. Examine each one and let us know how you think it fits. Oh. I almost feel sorry for Scarlet after reading her journal. If only she didn't use Omad's machine, she might be a sane flower. Those are the ramblings of a crazy murderer. Make no mistake, honey. She enjoys 
killer. He needs to be <sighs> found and put down. Every night the same terror shit never changes. The mender was unable to help me and I feel like I'm losing control of myself. Mm. When the nightmare starts an entity calls to me, I run. Run into a s Oh wait! Let me reopen it. I wake from the nightmares. Dreaming, confused, and scared. Oh, we read this! This was Scarlet Journal. This is this. Same thing. See, that's the password. O. M. A. D. D. Yeah, we read this earlier. It's kind of cool. She's made our lives miserable for months now. Still, if this journal is true, then I almost feel a little sorry for her. What do you suppose it all means? Something is driving her. Something she was afraid of, but has since embraced. Scared. What could possibly frighten someone like Scarlet? She saw something while hooked up to Omad's machine. Something that broke her. She's hearing voices in her head. But what you think it's me? You're welcome, Ninja. I, it's pretty cool they sort of explain who she was. She was a very good villain, I think. Like, I, I love Anka as a villain, but Scarlet is... Scarlet is nuts. <laughs> hmm, that's a piece of one of Scarlet's hmm. probes. We theorized that this agitated the jungle worms. And that's how we got Triple Trouble. I think it's a probe. That's a puzzler. Mm. If you examine the steam creature closely, you can identify similarities to Scarlet's clockwork machines in its design. It's like she's modified the Watch Knights with the same engineering. These steam creatures have been around for a while and we've pondered their origins with no success. Now it seems we have our first clue. They share many of the qualities of Scarlet's design. Scarlet was able to seize control of Queen Jenna's Watch Knights and twist them into similarly threatening minions. That the Queen hired Scarlet to make her Watch Knights. Did she hire Scarlet to make the Watch Knights? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it doesn't? How exactly did you arrive at that conclusion? Try again. Oh, really? She... The queen modeled her wash knights on the steam creatures? The wash knights and the steam creatures use common parts. All right! Can explain how hey, Daishio, thank knights. you. Their thank you for your visa. I appreciate you. Units for assaulting a fortified location. Mm. Cooling rod. Priory teams recovered this cooling rod from the Thaumanova reactor disaster. It's mm -hmm. steeped in dragon magic. She believes Scarlet blew the place up to sow terror. One sleuth to another, that's not easy. If we theorize that all Scarlet's moves have been connected, she must have been after something. Scarlet and the inquest turned a risky research experiment <clears throat> into a time bomb so they could study how it ticked. They also discovered new info about ley lines. If Scarlet is using that info to plan her next major attack, it's coming soon. Mm. It's so like Scarlet to ruin someone's big day. Poor Queen Jenna. Celebrating 10 years of rule only to have it marred by killer automatons. Is that yeah. watch might be safe, Marjorie? I hate having any of Scarlet's machines in the bar. Don't fret, Angel. Ever since Queen's Jubilee, it's been quiet as a corpse. First time we saw Scarlet, she was attacking my city and my queen. Casualties were heavy, mostly civilians. The Seraph chalked it up to a random act of violence. Little did they know. 
It was all part of her plan, so it seems. We now know she'd be moving around behind the scenes for some time, but she chose that moment to show herself. Why? Jealousy? She has a grudge against Queen Jenna, maybe? That's a bit of a leap. No? Take okay. another look. To get the wash knights, controlling them required her personal touch. I think our friend is on to something. Ah. Mm, not bad. The clockwork horrors from the Jubilee must have been Scarlet's second draft. Hmm. Scarlet got crafty. Instead of pairing up two splinter factions, she stole an entire fighting force. And then she upped the ante with that giant marionette. You don't need that kind of firepower unless... You're going to attack something, something really, really big. big. Oh, Dragon Bash was supposed to be festive. Until Scarlet killed people with her flying <laughs> pirates. Yeah, he did. did an excellent job documenting the assassination of Counselor Theo Ashford during Dragon Bash. You should <clears> really <throat> return this case file before she notices you purloined it. I still can't believe my train thought she could get a seat on the Captain's Council. I'm glad we met you that day. She had to be stopped. That's bad news. My shoe is now she's free. Get back to doing Scarlet duty work again. Scarlet wanted a pawn on the captain's council. Hmm. Scarlet plotted to kill someone <clears throat> on the captain's council to make room for her puppet. With Trin in place on the council, she could have weakened the city's defenses from the inside. Hmm. That plan backfired, but Trin escaped to the mists to prepare for something. Hmm. Scarlet converted part of the Nightmare Court Arbor into her own personal airship factory. She also tormented the Silvari firstborn, Kate. She formed this alliance in part to develop hybrid weapons with maximum destructive potential. I heard a rumor that Scarlet has a secret on Kate. Something she's holding over Kate's head. Have you heard of this? Something happened between them at Twilight Arbor. Scarlet lured Kate to Twilight Arbor and set a trap with Aetherblade. She was building an airship there. What do you think is happening between those two? Do you know each other? It wasn't a trap. Kate made the airship back. Now she has an arsenal of advanced mm. weapons and an air fleet to deliver them. No city is prepared to defend against an aerial attack. Not even Lion's Arch. <laughs> it's been almost a year since the Molten Alliance attacked the Shiver Peaks. Dredge and Flame Legion together. Who would have imagined it? Look closely at how they combine Dredge mechanical There's magic. a portal here. With the flame <gasps> There's, a port There's a portal here? Nyla, good morning. We missed the initial Molten Alliance uprising, but I heard you were there. Maybe you can explain to me what brought the Dredge and Flame Legion together. Sonic weapon combined with Flame Magic. Your deductions aren't adding mm -hmm. up. So Dredge Sonic technology can be used for probing underground. And Scarlet's been looking Hi, for ley lines with those probes. Good morning. She's, She's after, after the ley lines, lines underneath, underneath Lion's Arch. arch. <laughs> Almost done with the with examining the forensic evidence. This is Synergetics Headmaster Omad's isolation module. A Silvari named Kiara went in. Scarlet came home. Oh, I thought it's Ciara. I reverse engineered an image of Kiara's aura patterns before and after. The schism is pronounced and dramatic. Professor Omad, he outsmarted me in several polymount tournaments. I'm sure he cheated, but that's beside the point. He never should have put Kiara in that cube. His notes say his purpose was to shut down the mind security system and open it, like opening a door to welcome in the truths of the eternal alchemy, but our minds are protected for a reason. The cube made her insane. Her vision was nothing more than her mind breaking. When Scarlet looked across the open threshold, she saw things and something looked bad. Kiara encountered something that literally broke her mind. 
but the only things in there were things she brought. I surmise she was directly exposed to a part of her own psyche that had been carefully walled off, perhaps for her own protection. Mm. We need to do far more extensive study of the Savari dream before I can draw any more detailed conclusions. What I can conclude now is that she's preparing to strike. Mark my words, Scarlet's next attack is planned and yes, ready. Kiara. Kiara. A lot of stuff. So, like, this, uh, like, today's patch, Battles, Battle for Lion's Arts, is actually three patches in the past. Escape from Lion's Arch, Battle for Lion's Arch, and Origins of Madness is three back in 2014. They, like, com condense everything into the patch today. Because some of this stuff, like, you can't experience anymore. You know, like Queen's Jubilee and stuff that's already out. Triple Trouble. That's why. Last one. Toxin I Sample. I how close we came to disaster. When I think about those spores spreading their toxins across Tyria, it boils my blood. The Nightmare Court and Crate do make a volatile combination. Scarlet pops some horrifying alchemy there. Hmm. Scarlet spread her toxins all over Tyria if we let her. It's a good thing we found the antidote. She allied with Crate and Nightmare Court courtiers to do so. Why would she do such a thing? Yep. The second one. This sample is resistant to the antitoxin we used against the nightmare tower poison. Jory, we didn't stop her plan. We just showed her how to make a stronger poison that could wipe out an entire city. Let's review the evidence. Kiara entered Omad's device, saw something terrifying, and emerged as Scarlet Briar. She came out insane, but there's a method to her madness. We know from Thalmanova that she's researching magical energy in ley lines. She's used Molten Alliance Magicka to locate ley lines. We know that there are ley lines in Lion's Arch, among other places. She's built her own personal army. Crate and Nightmare Court. Pirates and Inquest. Dredge and Flame Legion. And most of all, her clockwork horrors. She tricked her subordinates into doing her bidding Hi, Ed, with promises of power, Join the giveaway, guys. or other mark She points. modified her poison to be resistant to our antitoxin. She could use it against an army or a city. My Trin is preparing the Aether Blades in the mists for a big attack. There's a mist portal in Lion's Arch. Jory, Lion's Arch is her target. We have to warn Ellen. I'll warn her. I'll let you know when I hear back. Make your preparations. Everything has been building toward a single devastating attack. May the gods show us mercy. Oh. Yay! We finished this. Noise. Escape from Lion's Arch. So how did you two meet? Sweet About letter. six months ago, I was just minding my own business, and... She posted a help wanted sign, and I was looking for someone to help. So you met only six months ago. It seems like you've been together longer. I'd noticed her before that. Hee <laughs> hee. You had? You never told me that. So, you're a mated pair? <laughs> We're currently in negotiations. Come here, Frostbite. That's cute. What about you, Rox? Anyone special in your life? No. There was once, but he was killed. I'm sorry. No. Was he in your old warband? Bram said you're a Gladium. Bram talks too much. Don't be mad. Well. Uh... What is that? Oh! Talk to her? Talk to Box? Oh, thank you for the follow! <laughs> you should rest a while before you head out again. Eat, drink, recharge. Oh, I did not know about this. So, Rox had a... had a mate? 
His name was Nanas Pickfly. I mean, Nanas Pickaxe. Pickfly was his nickname. We teased him. We've been best friends since the fair. Aww. We were the pick war band, best miners in the region. We could turn out more ore in a day than any other war band. Uh, I did not know that. Did you guys know that? About rocks, mate? I didn't know. That's interesting. Non is pig pigaxe. Just wash. Hi, Sientra. Sientra? 